Bad news is time flies. Good news is you're the pilot. Hey there, how you guys doing today? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Bitcoin and Coffee. I'll be your host, Eugene Forrest. So, what are we looking at today with the cryptocurrency market? Well, it looks like we're having one of those days where if you're going to freak out, it's time to start freaking out. Uh, we're down about $10 billion in the market cap. We're coming in at $162 billion. We got a $5.1 billion trade in the last 24 hours. BTC dominance is still well over 50%, coming in at 54.7%. And I mean, that's fantastic, as always. Uh, so let me see, as I look down here through the list, it looks like we're down anywhere between 3 and 10% based on what you're, you know, invested into, but BTC is down 7%. Uh, we're coming in at $5,331. Uh, considering we were looking at almost getting 6 k uh, you know, a day or two ago, this is not really all that awesome. So, I mean, I'm sure it's only temporary. It'll turn around. Bitcoin has absolutely nowhere to go but into the future, which is the moon, right? And sides, none of us are selling out today. Uh, I guess no Amazon gift card purchasing, you know, don't go over to purse. Uh... Let me see, we got Ethereum right at $300, that's okay. I mean, they've been beating their head against it for a while. At least they didn't drop below it at the moment. Uh, that's down 7.8%. Uh, Ripple's taking 10.5% slide back today, coming in at 22.8 cents. Um, let me see, we got Bitcoin Cash coming in at $335. That's down 7.8%. Uh, you know, sliding backwards right here with the rest of them. So, I mean, all those gains they had gained the other day, they're losing some of it. Uh, we got Litecoin coming in at $56.22, back in the safe zone. Uh, let me see, that's down 8.9%. I'm sure this will hopefully all correct around as we can get on the other side of this situation that's happening right now. Uh, we got Dash coming in at $285, that's down 5.4%. We got NEM coming in at 20.8 cents, that's down 6%. We got Monero rolling up at $88.80. 82 cents that's down 6.8 cents is eight percent as well we got ethereum classic back down at eleven dollars and 28 cents that's down 5.7 percent i mean as i look at this what i'm seeing is, is that we're kind of right back to where we were before we had all these massive gains as a form of correction uh you know and hey i mean it's gonna happen we'll make these gains again we saw what the tops were at the moment and now we've come back so i mean i'm gonna see this as a buying opportunity i mean if you saw these new prices and you were like man i wish i had gotten in on that well here you go here's your opportunity opportunity don't be scared i mean just go out you know trade a little fiat for some btc run it over to the market pick you up whatever your altcoin is make sure you get it back into your hardware wallet or somewhere where you own the private keys and just keep trucking along because you know what tomorrow or the next day this price is going to be right back there where we were seeing it at these all-time highs uh and you know what in a year from now you'll be you'll be loving yourself for it uh let me see we got zcash coming in at 225 dollars that's down 3.8 percent we got Steam down 3% and we got uh, the Steam bag dollar down 1.4% coming in at 93 cents showing me that pretty much everything's a little underappreciated at this moment. Uh, so what do we got today for news on Bitcoin and coffee? Well, apparently this dog wants in the video today. Say hi to everybody, Enoch. <laughs> it's all right, man. It's all right. So let me see, what do we got here? Well, it looks like everybody is talking about segregated witness, uh, you know, the upcoming hard fork. Uh, they're not sure if this is having some effect on the price movement. Um, you know, this isn't going to be happening until November 18th. We got Bitcoin Gold coming up before this here on the 25th. I mean, that's a lot closer. Uh, but the Segregated Witness 2X is a lot bigger of a deal. Uh, a lot of people are making much more of a big fuss about it because uh, Bitcoin Gold is being treated a lot more like an altcoin at the moment. And I mean, you know, it's rightfully so. I mean, they're looking like they just want to use this as a way to pretty much airdrop into everybody to make sure that it's, you know, what coins are out there in the market are given out in a fashionable way and that you know the decentralization mining process that they're looking to be able to perform is you know going to be the benefit to this new altcoin bitcoin right so i mean yes the segregated witness 2x hard fork is going to be very contentious uh it looks like we have everybody across the board coming out with their statements uh you know pulling in two different directions uh some people saying that you know they need to stand by the new york agreement some people are saying they don't need to stand by the new york agreement some people saying that they're going to provide you both uh you know forms of the coin and uh other people saying that they're going to wait and see what happens uh you know but it looks like a lot of people a lot more of these companies are on board with trying to get you you know both represent of what Bitcoin's going to be when this 
fork happens a lot sooner than what we're looking at or we were looking at with Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I mean, I know people at Coinbase are still waiting around for that stuff, right? Uh, so, I mean, as we move forward here, I mean, it's nothing really to stress about. I mean, like I had said in yesterday's video, you know, the real value is in the Bitcoin network and everybody's going to do everything they can do to try to manipulate the Bitcoin network to get as much money as they possibly can out of the situation. Um, so, I mean, as we move forward, segregated witness 2X is, you know, it, it's not going to be uh, support as well supported as it was originally was thought to be. And I mean, as we have the fork off, the market is going to determine the value. So, I mean, as everyone likes to keep saying, you know, Bitcoin dividends are out there. Uh, so, I mean, we also got that Bittrex uh, put out a customer review. I didn't say much about it yesterday because, I mean, it was just kind of a hearsay situation on whether or not they were closing people's accounts, uh, you know, and then they were talking about it in other countries that weren't the United States. Um, I guess today they put out their thing saying that it's more of a customer review situation. Uh, it's being covered quite a bit. Uh, you know, there's links out there for it. You can take a look at it. And they're denying any other accusations of misrepresentation on their exchange of funds or, uh, you know, taking funds and all of that kind of stuff. So, I mean... Besides that, I don't really got much news here for you today. Uh, you know, the price is down and it's nothing really to be freaked out about, people. I mean, the cryptocurrency is super volatile. I mean, you have your ups and you have your downs. So on the days that you're, you know, sitting there and you're gaining your 20%, you know, you got to have these days where you're down 7%. But I mean, in the long run, you're going to be better off owning and holding cryptocurrency than you're going to be doing holding, uh, you know, whatever your local fiat cash is. So, as always, uh, I have all sorts of tools listed down there below. Uh, please check them out. I'm constantly working on that list. Uh, it's one of the best ways I can go about helping you out uh, to monitor the Bitcoin and Ethereum network, uh, you know, getting you the correct wallets for your cryptocurrencies so you own the private keys, um, you know, because you can't trust these exchanges. You know, Mt. Gox is the most, uh, you know, biz biggest example of why you can't trust these exchanges. And you know what they say, you know, once shame on you, twice shame on me. So, please don't be shame on you uh and as always you know my email address i keep putting it out there uh i love hearing from you guys it's eugeneforest20 at gmail.com please shoot me those emails ask me your questions uh i'm gonna try to get back to you i'm gonna try to get you an answer and totally non-profit here i am not doing this for any icos no exchanges are paying me nothing like that totally working on your guys's donation so those donational addresses are down there below shoot a little extra crypto my way if you got it please hit a like on my button so other people can find us out there like us or share us out so other people can find it this community is amazing it's constantly growing uh we're avoiding the scams we're making our btc grow safely you know we're not doing that high risk high reward situation because we know that this stuff is going to be worth a lot in the future and it's going to totally change our lives so as always keep your bitcoin safe